Assalamualaikum and good morning to the honorable judges, teachers and friends. Today I would like to tell you a story about the ant and the grasshopper. Once they live an ant and a grasshopper in a grassy meadow. All day long the ant will work hard, collecting grains of wheat from the farmer's field far away. She would hurry to the field every morning, as soon as it was light enough to see by, and toy back with a heavy grain of wheat on her, on her head. She would put the grain of wheat carefully away in her ladder, and then hurry back to the field for another one. Scurrying back and forth from the field, collecting grains of wheat, storing them carefully in her ladder. The grasshopper would look at her and laugh. Ha 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 ha! Why do you work so hard, dear Anne? He would say, Come, race wide, listen to my song. Summer is here, the day is long and bright. Why was the sunshine in labor and toil? The end will ignore him and hate back. We just hurry to the field a little faster. This would make the grasshopper laugh even louder. Ha 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 ha! What a silly little end you are! He would call after her. Come, come, dance with me. Forget about work. Enjoy the summer. Live a little. And the end will hop away. Cross the maiden, singing and dancing merrily. Soon the summer fades into autumn and autumn fades into winter. Then one bright day in late autumn, a family of ants were bustling about in the warm sunshine, drying out the grain they had stored up during the summer. The sun was hardly seen. The days were short and gray. The nights are long and dark. It's become freezing cold and the snow began to fall. The grasshopper didn't feel like singing anymore. He was cold and hungry. He had nowhere to shelter from the snow and nothing to eat. The maiden and the farmer's field were covered in snow. And there was no food to be had. Oh! What shall I do? Where shall I go? Well, the grasshopper. Suddenly, he remembered the end. Ah, I shall go to the end and ask him for food. Said the grasshopper. Peggy up. So off he went to the end's house and knocked the door. The starving grasshopper, his fiddle under his arm. Hello, Anne, he cried cheerfully. Here I am to sing for you as I warm myself by your fire. Won't you get me some food, that ladder of yours? What? cried the Anne in surprise. Haven't you stored anything for the winter? What in the world were you doing all last summer? And again he said, All summer long I work hard. Won't you make fun of me? and sang and danced. You should have thought of winter day, grasshopper. There is no warm offer for you here. The grasshopper begged again. Please help me, dear Anne. I didn't have time to store up any food. Whined the grasshopper. I was so busy making music that I know the summer was gone. Making music? Where are you? They cried. Very well, now dance, he shouted loudly. And the end shut the door in the grasshopper face. The moral of the story is, it is wise to worry about tomorrow today. Thank you.